This is the Colt Detector Special. Let's see what's inside. Hi, Jim Humphrey here from Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training, and this is a 1961 Colt Detective Special. Of course, prior to doing any work on a firearm, I always make sure it's unloaded and remove all live ammunition from the work area. The side plate is retained by two screws. The crane is held in by a single piece uh, crane lock screw. Older models had a two piece system. So I remove the crane lock screw, which allows me to remove the cylinder and the crane. I have a separate video on the disassembly of the cylinder group. Uh, I'll provide a link at the end of the video. The side plate screws are easily damaged. I take special care when removing them using the correct size screwdriver and penetrating oil. These screws are identical but it's always a good idea to keep screws separate. The side plate is removed with a few soft taps of a plastic hammer. The side plate lifts out with the cylinder latch. I'm careful to retain the cylinder latch. The latch simply slides out from the side plate. Uh, the latch spring is very small and easily dropped. Careful to keep track of it. Removing the main spring requires a little effort. With some smooth jawed pliers I compress the spring and swing the hammer stirrup out of the way to release the main spring. With the rebound lever pin pressed out uh, the hand and rebound lever lift straight out. The hammer is removed by pushing the latch pin forward, rotating the hammer back until the hammer nose and the base clear the frame and lifting straight out. The latch pin will slide out and the trigger, safety lock and safety lever all lift out as a group. All that's left to remove is the bolt it's just retained by a screw, uh, but has a very small spring. One of those springs you can only drop once because you'll never find it to drop it a second time. Let's have a look at the uh, trigger and uh, safety linkage. We've got the, uh, the trigger, uh, the safety lever, and the safety lock, or sometimes just called the safety, depending on which book you pick up. The pins that connect them are uh, mushroom shaped. They've got a little bit larger head, and then the slots are all uh, keyhole shape, so it's a little bit tricky to get it back together sometimes. But this does facilitate a little bit easier installation, so it holds it all together as one piece so I can drop it in uh, at one time. Further disassembly of the hammer is uh, pretty tricky. The, the sear and the stirrup are held in with some really tight fitting pins, so uh, I left them all together here. I just drop the hammer in and uh, make sure it links correctly with the uh, trigger. Drop push in the uh, latch pin. Next I'll install the uh, rebound bar and its pin. Uh, it's not too tight fitting a pin but uh, make sure I get it uh, even on both sides. In the back of the hand there's a groove to engage with the rebound bar. So when I place the hand in, I'll have to lift up on the rebound bar just a little bit uh, to get it to, to engage the hand, and that adds a little spring action to the hand then. Like on uh, any handgun, the mainspring is always the tricky one. These uh, smooth jawed uh, parallel grip pliers really help me get a grip on the spring without damaging it. Well, flip that stirrup into place. The latch is fitted to the side plate. Uh, note on the back of the latch, uh, there's a hole that has to be uh, fit over the latch pin when the side plate is, is fitted to the frame. The side plate is uh, pressed into place and with a few light taps of a plastic hammer should be all it takes to uh, get a nice flush fit. The uh, two side plate screws, when uh, firmly fastened with the proper screwdriver, will hold the side plate in place. And with the cylinder in place, uh, the locking pin screw can be 
reinstalled to hold the cylinder. And I'm, I'm very careful with these screws. That's one thing I see is people mess these screws up by not using proper screwdrivers. It really destroys the cosmetic look of the, uh, of the fire. And grip panel's back on. And a quick function check. And my work here is done. Well, I hope you found that educational. I'm Jim Humphrey from Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. Remember, as a firearms owner, you're an ambassador for all of us. So always portray your firearms in a safe and positive manner. Enjoy your firearms and be safe out there. Thanks for watching.